So, as you can see, I've just unlocked one of the new Foot Birthday Objective cards. I have finished unlocking the Foot Birthday Bellarabi. Um, it's not particularly hard to unlock, but it's uh, a bit tedious to do, to be honest, because uh, you've got to play at least seven games, and one of them you've got to get an assist in five out of those seven. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but I just hate scoring from crosses, and yeah, that objective just wasn't fun to do, but... It got completed in the end, and now we have done it. We have got an 88-rated right-wing Bellarabi coming into the club. And uh, this guy has been boosted to uh, a 5-star weak foot, and he's also got 4-star skills as well. So it could be a pretty good right-wing item. So this will be the team that we're going to be using Bellarabi in. We're going to have Ozil in the middle pulling the strings. I've been really enjoying this Ozil card. If you want to see a player review on that item, check out the channel. I have already done it. Anyway, for Bellarabi, what chem style are we going to use? Just by looking at him, I am thinking we go with, um, I, I think, one minute, let me just bring up the camera board and there we go. Um, anyway, I'm thinking Sniper is the one for this guy because he's already got pretty good pace and to give him a shooting and dribbling boost, I definitely think will help him out quite a bit, especially um, from a shooting standpoint. His dribbling's already pretty good, but uh, boosting it a bit more definitely will not hurt. Um, looks like that's the chem style that most people are going for as well. Basic chem actually boosts him up to a decent rating. Uh, Sniper a bit more, and Deadeye actually makes him a 94, which is very, very interesting. But um, I think we're going to go for Sniper. In the comments, let me know what chem style would you go for on this guy. How many of you would go Hunter to max out his pace? I'm sure a few of you would. Um, but I think it'll be between Deadeye and uh, Sniper for this guy. So let me know what you choose in the comments. We will be going with Sniper like we've already discussed. And now let's have a look at this card. So he's six foot tall, so he's quite tall for a winger. So that's something to bear in mind. He's got really good pace, 94s in both sections. Um, in the shooting column, we can see he's got really nice shot power of 93, but his base finishing rating is just 80, which is why I think the Sniper Chem will help out so much with that plus 15 um, finishing. Um, his composure is 83, which is good, but it's not amazing. Um, so the plus 5 from the Sniper Chem should also help with that as well. His passing attributes are, um, some of them are really good, some of them are pretty pretty poor. It's like that Gattuso clip, some good, some shit. Um, crossing, 88, decent. Short passing, 90, brilliant. Long passing, 66, eh, not great. So, uh, yeah, not not bad, but um, decent passing overall. His dribbling attributes, they look pretty outstanding, to be honest. Really good agility of 92, nice uh, ball control of 90, and pretty good in-game dribbling of uh, 92. So, on the ball, he should be great. He should actually be a really freaking good dribbler. Um, finally, physically, how is this guy looking? Well, every stat's green, so that's normally a good thing. Um, it's a shame his stamina isn't better. 82 stamina for a fast winger is not ideal at all, especially since we'll be running with him a lot. So that could be a problem. But uh, 78 strength and 81 aggression, that's pretty good for a winger. So I'm expecting him to fight for the ball a lot and defend it quite well too. So uh, overall, I think this card looks quite promising. And with it having the 5-star weak foot and 4-star skills, um, I'm hoping for good things from this Bellarabi. So let's get into some foot champs and let's see how we get on. We go again. Game number one was not so successful. Hopefully game number two will be better and we face this. We've got Inform Son to look out for as well as an 89 rated Mbappe who is still just absolutely deadly um, at this stage of the game and he's probably going to be used uh, till the end game as well. It's it's kind of mad how good non inform Mbappe still is. It is still such a handful to deal with. Ozil so, finds Bellarabi out the back. Bellarabi with time to put it across the box and... That was a pass. That was an RBX pass, and it looked like a shot. Well played, Del Piero. Chance for the German to score, and of course, he does. Nice cross goal shot to open his account. Nice. Brilliant floated ball over the top. Bill Arabi's going to try and get past Mendy, but just doesn't quite have enough strength, which is understandable. Mendy's an absolute beast in this game. Well, at the break, as you can see, we have a very slim 1 0 lead. We've had one chance. And we have scored it. So, uh, yeah, we've got something to work on in at the second at 45. A good position. Oh, win that. Done well to beat Felon Mendy, but Mendy's so quick to recover. We've got a chance. Can we put it across the box? We can. Fortunately, the ball doesn't quite bounce favourably for us. And use his pace to get past Longway. Keep that ball in. That's it. Oh, I tried to hand it off inside there to Del Piero, but... There's full time, 2-0, not a bad day out for Bellarabi, a goal and a assist in this match. Um, yeah, we performed alright, I wish his positioning was a bit better in that game, but uh, 
yeah, got us the goals, so can't be too upset, I guess. Our next opponent's team looks like this. He's got a near full league unside with a road to the final, um, Depay, and also a future stars, Aussie men, to look out for. Oh, Belrabi doing some defence there. Not a great touch, but he's put the ball through for Del Piero, who's going to go for the ball roll, and then he's going to put the ball in the back of the net. Belrabi created a really good chance there, and Del Piero took full advantage of that. Whip that one in. Nice ball. Oh, Del Piero, unfortunately. Shouldn't really be crossing to him, to be honest. He's not really the target man type, but uh, that felt like a really good cross. Viola, down the wing, finds Bellarabi. He's got a lot of space to work with here. Can we find out a pass? We can, just like that. Have our lead back. Oh, go on, Bellarabi. Love to see it, the slide tackle. Oh, just outstretched completely there by Renato Sanchez. Bellarabi. Brilliant burst of pace. Bangs it across the box and oof, good block there by Kyle Walker. After the first 45, we have a one goal lead. It's been a pretty tight first 45, as you can see. In the second half, we're going to make some changes there. I'm going to try Belrabi out in a central role. Just, let's just see how he gets on there. Um, sadly, Ozil is going to make way and we're going to bring on uh, SBC Masonda because he's so fast. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Can we score? Yes, we can. Oof, I was a bit worried there, but uh, we got the job done. Nice finish in the end by Belarabi, who apparently is injured at the same time as well. What a bit of play that was. Oh, this didn't shoot when I pressed shoot. There was a bit of delay in the shot as Belarabi sorted his feet out, which he shouldn't need to do because he's got a five-star weak foot. Shame, that was a really nice move. And there's full time. We get ourselves a 3-1 victory, which is always... Very good to see. And um, Bellarabi involved in all the goals, just like Del Piero was. Two goals and a assist for Del Piero and two assists and one goal for Bellarabi. So uh, them two linked up quite nicely in this match. Okay, now we've had a run out with this Bellarabi item. It's time for me to give my thoughts on the card. And if you want a quick review, um, I think it's a good item, not a great one. But um, it could improve some people's teams and maybe it could have some use as a super sub for some. This item is very, very similar to Player of the Month Navri, so uh, that might be something to bear in mind for those of you who run with a Bundesliga side. Anyway, let's break things down. Pace, brilliant. Very, very quick in game, both on and off the ball, and that is awesome. In terms of shooting ability, really happy with this guy's shot power. His finishing was good, wasn't great, but um, it was good enough for a winger. Do wish he was a bit more clinical there. Positionally, how is this guy? He's He's so hot and cold. He's either hit or he is missed. He joins in with attacks or he doesn't join in with them. It is literally that simple, which is uh, quite frustrating because when you get this guy into good areas, he definitely can be effective. But uh, yeah, positioning was just so inconsistent for me. Passing wise, how is this guy in terms of crossing? Very good. In terms of short passing, very good. In terms of through balls, eh. Once again, there's uh, some inconsistency there, so that's a bit of a shame. But with him having that five-star weak foot, he can shoot and pass uh, equally as well off both foot, which is obviously very nice. Now we come on to this guy's dribbling. That's a department I don't have complaints about, to be honest. Good ball control for the most part. Feels agile, easy to manoeuvre, fun play to run with in space. Very happy with his on-the-ball ability for the most part. Sometimes his ball control uh, doesn't feel as good as the stats suggest, but for the most part, uh, when dribbling this guy, you won't have too many issues, which is great. He's not like an elite dribble, like a Messi or a Neymar, but um, he's a very, very good one, and you can feel that in matches. Physically, stamina lets him down. He's a pacey winger, and you're going to run with him a lot, and he does tire rather quickly, so if you're going to start this guy, definitely have a winger on the bench. Strength and aggression, though, very happy with. He battled quite a bit, and that was very nice to see, especially from a Percy winger. I was also happy with the fact that he won some aerial duels as well, which is uh, good to see. That's mainly down to the fact that he's six foot and has decent jumping. His actual head and accuracy isn't great, but um, he can win headers from goal kicks, which is uh, nice when uh, you're trying to retain possession. Overall, then, the verdict on the card is it's a pretty good item, but uh, I don't think it'll invade too many people's starting 11s at this stage of the game. Um, like I've already said, very, very similar to player of the month, Nabry. I'd say uh, Belrabi is definitely the better dribbler out of the two, but Nabry is definitely the uh, better finisher. So, uh, 
yeah, it depends what you want from your winger, I guess. Do I recommend going out and getting this card? Yeah, I do. It's an 88 rated overall that you can get uh, relatively easily. You can get it within seven games if you are good enough to do all the objectives quickly. So, uh, yeah, I do think it's a card worth getting, and I do think it could have some value in some people's teams as a super sub. But like I say, I don't think it will invade too many people's starting 11s. So, uh, something to bear in mind, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm getting pretty tired right now, and uh, it's time for me to wrap this video up, so um, if you're new around here, please do subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. Comment below your thoughts on this item. Also, let me know which other foot birthday cards to do videos on. And uh, yeah, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.